Hey everyone, look at these beautiful pots. Uh, these are both pots from Peter Wakefield and I wanted to just plant these up sort of seasonally, but do something a little different and a little, I don't know, just a little bit more fun than the average thing. Plus we've already been through amaryllis and I just thought it might be fun, even though each of these, this pot in particular would be fabulous for an amaryllis. This is the Galena pot. And um, this one would be really good for uh, forcing bulbs in. I just want to do something a little bit different. Now, both of these have attached saucers, which is pretty nice for indoor pots. And there is a drainage hole in them. So what you do is you water them and then just pour off any excess water that's sitting in that saucer like you would otherwise. In any case, I thought we'd just do something a little bit fun today and get a little bit in the holiday spirit with just some, something different than the usual. So here we go. So here's what I love about the way this one turns out. This screams Christmas to me, but it's not just the typical expected thing. So I think it's kind of fun to change it up every once in a while. So I purposely picked plants with the same needs for in this container. Um, I would have loved to put in a lemon cypress back here. This is a little Alberta spruce. I would have loved a little um, lemon cypress, but I find that especially in small containers, I need to water those every single day, basically. I don't plant lemon cypress in smaller pots unless I sit them next to the sink where I literally will remember to water them every day. So I didn't want to put one of those in here. And then I also would have loved my, actually what I would have loved even more was a little rosemary tree, all of which you can find very easily this time of year. Um, but rosemary of course likes to dry out. So, uh, that wasn't going to work with too many other plants. So I went with this Alberta spruce. All of these plants are going to want to stay uh, just sort of evenly moist. So not too wet, not too dry, just evenly moist. So little Alberta spruce in the back here. Um, I think this is technically a Thanksgiving cactus, but you get the idea. And then um, even though I'm not the biggest fan of poinsettias, I mean, you can't really argue with the bang for the buck that you get. I couldn't believe I found this teeny tiny little one. Um, and I kind of like this super pink color. So I just like that. It's sort of pink. And then, um, I filled in the top with some reindeer moss. This is preserved moss that you can buy in different colors. The really bright one is the chartreuse, which I quite like, but I mixed it in with a color called spring green, which I think makes it look a little bit more natural and interesting. And it's kind of nice to hide that dirt so you don't have to look at that. And then I just popped in a few little, little ornaments and I put a little bird in the tree because I like those little bird ornaments and I thought that'd be sort of cute and festive. So that's the first one. So obviously I went simple on this one. This is a cyclamen. Um, I love cyclamen and I would have loved to put a cyclamen. Let me move it like this. I love cyclamen and I would have put a cyclamen in that other pot, but cyclamen abhor being wet. They have to dry out. So they're super fussy. So um, I thought I'd just plant it alone. Now, normally I wouldn't put a plant that stands up in a pot like this. Um, that's not generally how my eyes would think, but I kind of think that part of the charm of the cyclamen is how it holds its leaves up on this sort of plane. And so with the moss underneath there, I kind of like the look. I don't know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different proportionally. 
Um, and then I went with sort of a pinky red because, you know, it's the holiday, so sometimes you gotta do it. So I just kept that one pretty simple using that same moss on the top just to sort of add another layer of interest to it. And that's it. So I hope you guys like that. Just a different take on some holiday plants and you know, what a way to use these beautiful handmade pots. Um, you guys, I will put a link in the description to Peter's site so that if you want to pick up pots like these, you can. So I just thought that was a fun way to use these really beautiful pots uh, this time of year and I can change them up whenever and I'll have, I'll have these pots for the rest of my life. All right, have a great day. See you soon.